for freedom, traitor to his country, murderer, all were titles given to a gray-eyed man from Connecticut whose passion for freedom and human dignity in the mid-1800s would ignite Americans into a sectional explosion that would ultimately destroy slavery. The man's name was John Brown, and though his moral commitment to freedom was truly righteous, it spread into a violent action that remains mired in controversy. It was one man's solution for the hated institution of slavery that is remembered as John Brown's War. I, John Brown, am now quite certain that the crimes of this guilty land will never be purged away but with blood. I had, as I now think vainly, flattered myself that without very much bloodshed, it might be done. John Brown, December 2nd, 1859. To look at John Brown, even without knowing what the man was capable of, I think anyone meeting him would have seen in him the makings of a fanatic. Tall, gaunt, dark sun-bronzed skin with piercing, deep, burning eyes. Brown probably was best known for his eyes. His eyes could look right through you. His eyes could drill a hole in you. His eyes could captivate you. His eyes would magnetize you. You could not escape from him. When John Brown looked you in the eye, your eyes did not move, and your mind did not move. Your mind opened up, and he would pour his thoughts into you. He was truculent, furious about slavery in this country. He called it the sum of villainies. And usually, if you got into a conversation with John Brown, you'd end up talking about one of two things. You'd either talk about slavery and what a rotten whore of an institution it was, quote unquote, that's what he, how he referred to it, or you would get into a discussion about the Bible and about uh, theology. God commanded that thou shalt not deliver unto his master the servant which has escaped from his master unto thee. He shall dwell with thee, even among you in that place which he shall choose. Thou shalt not oppress him. Every man's conscience says amen to that command. John Brown, 1854. Slavery had